I feel a little rushed today. So sorry if I seem like flustered or talking fast. Just my son is being a total three major. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. But I have for you today not one, but two new vintage bags to review. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday and they're all designer and fashion related. I never pay full price for any of these pieces. I'd love to share with you all my tips and tricks. If that's something you're into, please remember to subscribe below and ring that bell. Okay, let's get started. So as you've seen um, from a few weeks ago, I have sold three of my bags so i have some cash to burn i have purchased two new vintage bags that i found on poshmark and i'm so excited to share them with you the first bag is a vintage ye saint laurent bag look at this clutch let's just have a moment a moment of silence for how gorgeous this clutch is i know it is gorgeous so this is a vintage uh, St. Laurent clutch. It is in, I believe, I'm not sure the leather, but I believe it's a calfskin leather in the chevron print. And I just love when you look at chevron print with E. St. Laurent or YSL or St. Laurent, whatever you want to call it now, but it is in the form of a Y. Everything kind of winks to that when you look at this. Even the clip that's right here kind of winks to a Y, as you see right here. Absolutely gorgeous chevron printing in the front and the back. This is in amazing vintage condition. The corners look gorgeous. There's just a little tarnishing here to the plate um, that are right here, but I kind of love that. I love that vintage vibe. So cute, and I love that the envelope clutch from uh, Saint Laurent is making a comeback. So I got this bag for only $400. Now the new Uptown Clutch, and that has been on my wish list for a while. One of the ones I want is in the mock croc. I really want a Saint Laurent mock croc. So they do have that Uptown Clutch in the black mock croc. Thinking about getting that, but getting this for $400 seems like such a steal. So the length of this bag is 11 and about 11 and a quarter inches. The width is only about an inch. And then the height is on a seven and a half, a little over seven and a half inches here. It has a magnetic clasp here that goes right on top. And then it has these two metal bars that go through the top here that kind of go together. But you look and it opens up. Look at that interior. Like just look how beautiful and classic this is. Ye Saint Laurent's absolutely gorgeous. It has a pocket here, which I have my authenticity card right there and a zipper right here that you open and then it has the original care card they have right in there. How stinking cute is this? I can't wait to carry this. Um, this is going to be something not everybody has and I just love the embossed you say it wrong right there. I have my eye on some of the older clutches that are like that, maybe in a red, maybe in a navy. Um, but yeah, I'm just so impressed with this cute and gorgeous bag and it didn't cost me that much. So yeah, what do we think of this one? If you've seen from my new fall purchases, I am totally in to the Burberry Nova check print. I think that is absolutely cute. I have my eye on to get some more Burberry pieces. I would love to get like a vintage Burberry uh, blazer to roll up the sleeves and have the check Nova, but I saw this bag. I got a great deal on it. So this was also on Poshmark. I snagged it up for about $176 with tax. This is the Burberry mini tote check Nova print. How gorgeous is this? How cute is this like a little? So I scored this for under $200. This is in like new condition. Neither of these new items came with like dust bags or anything like that, but look at that, the corners. Cause I was looking for a bag like this and I was noticing most of them, the corners were getting wore. I think it's just how this canvas is right here. It's warm, but this is nice canvas. It's like perfect for fall, perfect for winter. I just think it's so cute. And then you have this little detail here that has the Burberry that comes right down there. Cute little wing to it. You have this fits right in the crook of your arm, handheld. Little magnet here for a closure. You fit just the necessities in there. Nothing, 
nothing going wrong there. And then you have a zipper pocket in the back here, and then it's just an open pit there. So absolutely cool, cute and gorgeous. Um, I think this is just gonna make a statement. I really want to get a nice, I've been looking for a vintage Burberry jacket too, maybe get one of the vintage trench coats and stuff like that, but I saw this. This is actually one of Emma Hill's vintage collection. If you haven't seen her video, I'm gonna post it below, but she has the best designer vintage bags, and this is one of the bags that she got, and she got it for an even better deal than I did, because these probably went up after she like showed them, but I absolutely love her style, and she finds the best vintage clothing pieces too. She has this beautiful vintage Burberry trench coat and I've been looking for some. I have my eye on some. I might pull the trigger on that because I feel like that would be an amazing investment. But yeah, what do we think about this one? Absolutely cute and gorgeous. This handle drop length is only it's about four and a quarter inches. The height here is seven and a quarter inches. F is three and a half inches and your width is about eight inches. So just a cute little tote bag. These are everywhere. There's also different types of totes. There are some that are bigger that zip, but I really think you can't go wrong with such a classic print as this. It makes a statement, but it's very classic and timeless. So yeah, what do we think of this one? All right, guys, that is everything. Sorry, my three major is screaming in the background. I apologize for that. But as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye guys.